What's up, Vikings Nation? We are super close to 1,000 subs. You can help me reach that goal by hitting that sub right now. Let's get to 1,000, huh? Huh? Shall we? Make sure to do so. Another undrafted free agent signing for the Minnesota Vikings comes out of Kansas State. Wide receiver Malik Knowles. This dude, not too shabby. 6'2", 196 pounds. Seems like the perfect fit at wide receiver. Not really sure how much or how much he can contribute to this team. Might make the practice squad. I don't see him making the 53, but the practice squad seems like a perfect uh, fit for him. So let's learn a little bit about this guy. What is his bio or what is what is he all about, right? Uh, Malik Knowles from Lake Ridge High School was a rated a three-star recruit by ESPN and handed a three-star grade by 24-7 Sports. After high school, Knowles opted to join Kansas State. In 2018, as a freshman, Knowles saw action in just four games for the Wildcats as he made 10 catches, 100 yards, averaged 10 per reception, two touchdowns, and an elite quarterback rating when targeted of 125. Not too bad. As a sophomore in 2019, he played 11 games, had 27 catches for 397 yards, averaged 14.7 per catch, three tutties, also had an elite quarterback rating when targeted at, of 116.1. So when you get when the ball's thrown his way, he's most likely going to get throw, uh, come down with it. As a junior in 2020, he played nine games, hauled in 13 catches, 204 yards, averaged 15.7 yards per catch. This dude, when he catches the ball, he's going to get you massive gains on the field. Um, also, he had three touchdowns that year, had a nice quarterback rating when targeted of 103.2, not too shabby. As a senior in 2021, 13 games, 29 catches, 441 yards, an average of 15.2 per catch, four tutties, not too shabby. And then his fifth year senior, as a fifth year senior in 2022, he played 13 games, 47 catches, 715 yards where he flourished for an average of 15.2 yards per catch, two tutties, and a quarterback rating when targeted of 98.2. So when he catches the ball, he's going to get you about 15 yards every single time that is something you like to see in a wide receiver his uh, fifth year as a senior at Kansas State is really really uh, is where he really flourished 715 yards not too bad you just like to see this guy get to the end zone a little bit more and uh, I think he'd be a okay now let's look at his strengths a couple of his strengths uh, Knowles fights his way off the line of scrimmage against press coverage, showing quick, violent hands and good balance. He has quick feet and good body control, allowing him to gear down and quickly get in and out of cuts. His hands are good, and he's a creative runner after the catch with elusive to slip tackles in space. Knowles tracks the ball well downfield and consistently runs under long throws, which is pretty good. That's why he got 15 yards per catch. Uh, tracks the ball well downfield and shows good ball skills, including the ability to go up and high point it in contested catch situations. Uh, does not possess top breakaway speed, though he's rarely caught from behind. So once he gets going, good luck catching this guy. He also has good effort and technique as a blocker for his size, can beat the press with elusiveness or physical contact, runs crisp routes and sharp cuts. I like what I'm hearing about this guy so far. When he catches the ball, he's going to move the chains every single time. He just doesn't get into the end zone. Doesn't have you know, over the top speed, but he has enough speed that if he's in open field, somebody's behind him, you ain't going to catch him. Okay, sorry about it. Now with some of his weaknesses. He's elusive with the ball in his hands, but Knowles won't break a lot of tackles. Once he gets hit, he going to the ground, okay? Because getting separation is going to be an issue. He's likely going to need to line up off the line of scrimmage. Maybe one of the spread guys, kind of like a Justin Jefferson type thing. So we'll see. Knowles also lacks suddenness as a route runner, and that is a potential issue at the next level. He doesn't have that quick you know, sudden change of direction. Like when he's running his routes, he doesn't boom, boom. You know, you, you don't get those corners put on skates at all. He's going to kind of do it slow, relaxed, and try to make it his own way, which allows the corner to kind of stay tighter to him and more pass breakups and stuff like that. That's why he doesn't score many touchdowns. Also, his ability to track the ball is good enough, but he too often let the ball get into his body downfield rather than snatching it with his hands. We all know what happens when you catch it with your chest. Yeah, well, <laughs> things go sideways. We all know that, right? It bounces off. They say catch with your hands, not your chest. It just, it, it's just, it's a better opportunity for you. But Knowles seems like a pretty decent player. I think he's definitely going to make the practice squad. He, we might see him on special teams, stuff like that. This is a good signing out of Kansas State wide receiver Malik Knowles, right? You guys can let me know in the comments what you think about this. Drop a like and subscribe to the channel. We're so close to 1,000. You guys can help me reach that goal by hitting that sub right now. So have a great rest of your night, folks, and Skull Vikes.